let's take a look at the way that we can handle questions. So I like to make a little path here of handling questions. Handling a question has two main parts. The first part is getting a question from the audience and showing your interest while thinking of an answer. You want to invite questions. Tell the audience clearly that question time has arrived. And signal which person you will take a question from. We look back here at this chart here. I think this chart is a good one right here. We're going to invite questions. Then we're going to pay attention to the questioner. Maybe we write down some note and we think a little bit. And then we try to clarify the question. That is, restate the question so that everybody believes we heard them. We understand the question. While the question is being asked, pay attention to the questioner. Taking some notes impresses the audience that you are professional. These notes can be referenced while you're answering. It's always better in a presentation during question time that you have a pen, a paper, and you can quickly write down. Even if you're not really writing down, when someone asks or comments, you can make a note or look like you're making a note. Everyone in the audience thinks this is very serious. That's totally different than if you just stand there looking and you go, hmm, hmm. That's kind of positive, like I'm thinking, hmm, I hear you, hmm. But it also feels like you're not taking it serious. So the best thing is, the easiest thing is just grab a pencil and a, or a pen and a paper and act like you're writing it down. Or I would say really write it down so that when you answer, you can repeat, you can clarify. So to clarify a question, you repeat the main point of the question to the questioner. Basically saying the question again. This helps to clarify the question, making sure you understand what the questioner is asking. The audience really likes this because the audience feels you're paying attention to that person. Now, they don't want you to pay too much attention because they have other things to do, but at least they know you're being professional and take the question serious. If the questioner thinks you have misunderstood the question, he or she will ask the question again, trying to explain what the main point is. Listen closely and once again repeat the question back and ask the questioner to confirm you have it right this time. Once the question is clear, it is time to answer. Okay, let's look at ways that we can invite questions. How can we use this in our presentation to invite questions? I'll take any questions you may have. I'd like now to invite any questions you may have. Thank you for your attention. Are there any questions? Now I'll try to answer any questions you have. Very straightforward, very simple, very clear. Time for questions. We have 10 minutes for questions. I kind of like this one because it lets people know how much time is left. If you had one minute or two minutes, you say, we now have two minutes for question. I'm sorry, we only have two minutes for question. If anyone has questions, I would be happy to answer them. We are short on time. 
but I can take two or three questions now.